Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Our learning goal for today is to divide even numbers into two groups. And I bet that you're going to do a wonderful job because it's sort of about sharing today. And I am sure that you are a very kind friend who is great at sharing. So today, while we're practicing dividing, I want you to think about it as sharing. When we share, we often share equally so that both people or both groups get the same amount. And that's what we're going to be doing when we're dividing today. Let's take a look. Today, we are going to be learning how to divide a set of even objects in half. I'm going to be using this piece of paper as my working mat and I would like for you to get a piece of paper too. You can fold it in half. I folded mine and then I drew a line down the center. And then our paper will have one, two parts. This would be one half of the paper and this is one half of the paper. When we divide something in half, both sides need to be the same. When you have your piece of paper, I would like for you to get 12 little objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here I have 12 objects and I'm gonna divide them evenly between the two sides of my paper. So I'm gonna start off by putting one on this side and one on this side. I'm going to continue this one on each side until I have used all of my objects. On this side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And on this side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. One half of 12 is six. Hmm. Maybe you remember this math fact, 6 plus 6 equals 12. Well, let's try dividing another even number into two equal groups. This time, I would like for you to have 10 objects because we're going to be finding one half of 10. 10 is an even number. I'm going to start off by putting one object on each side and then another object and just sharing back and forth like this so that each side gets the same number. How many little animals do I have on each side of my mat? That's right, I have five. One half of 10 is five. Some people remember finding one half from their doubles facts. Maybe you remember that five plus five equals 10. I have 14 objects and we're going to find one half of 14. To be fair, I am going to put one object on each side each time so that I am sharing the objects. Each side has how many objects? Two, four, six, seven. One half of 14 is seven. Maybe you remember that seven plus seven equals 14. When we're sharing, we make sure that both sides receive the same amount so that it's fair. What if we had two friends playing with dolls and they had to share all of the doll clothes? Hmm, I have four dresses. One half of four is how many? How many dresses will each friend have? Let's see, we'll have one, on each side and then an extra dress on each side. Each friend gets to play with how many dresses? That's right. They each get two when they're sharing the four dresses. Two 
plus 2 equals 4. Or 1 half of 4 is 2. Here I have some yummy cookies. There are 6 cookies in this package and we're going to find out 1 half of 6. We need to put the same number of cookies on each side to share them. They each have one, two, three. One half of six is three. If you remember your doubles facts, you remember that three plus three equals six. One half of six is three. When we're dividing by sharing, we make sure that each group is fair. They both have the same number for it to be half. Oh class, thank you so much for learning and playing with me today. I hope that you have some fun today as you practice sharing by dividing. Remember, in your groups you need to share equally so that both groups have the same amount. I know that you're going to do a wonderful job. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.